fine. There you go. Well, I was going to have Cedabash help me, but I decided that it was way over his head. And we don't have a tall, ladder that tall. So maybe next time you can help me in a minute. So we're going to, this is actually kind of a special clutch. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like that, it's because today's my day off. Of course, I have to go to work right now, twice. After I do this, I got to go work a pumpkin patch. What's up with that? But it's kind of cool. Little kids learn about reptiles is what we're about. So even if it's in a pumpkin patch, it's still cool. This is a cool snake. Wait till you see it, guys. This is my little fantasy tinker project. So far, most of these don't turn out to be genetic, but the good news is the good news is, uh, is we did breed it to another one. But, the one we brought it to was not related. <coughs> so, we're hoping we can remake this. As you guys know, sand bows are able to remake them. Uh, so, I hope it's like a sand bow. Because I'm into paradoxes and, and uh, this is pretty cool. Obviously, it's an albino. Got a nice, beautiful clutch there. So I'm sure all the babies will be albino. We're just hoping all the babies have black on them. So <clears throat> now this female, she's actually kind of special, isn't she, Tim? She's a posset genetic stripe. That's what I thought, and she looks at genetic stripes. I know we're bringing her to next year, no matter what. Right. So, but the male, the male's posset nothing, and uh, we've got a couple slugs. I see about four slugs, five slugs, six slugs. But we have enough here to find out. Now I'm actually being a little bit careful with her. We can, we're going to get the glass back in and we'll actually put that in. It looks like she's going to let me steal her clutch anyway. Sam here is giving me a hand. Tim says he's too ugly to get in the video today. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, so what's happening when you get old. Oh, uh, that's what happens when you get old. I thought it just because of genetics. That's, that's what I've genetics my too. Now she's a teddy bear, by the way, guys. Uh, doesn't mean I'm gonna let her look at my face, just in case she. I don't want no tribal instincts coming out on her. Actually, after all, I'm still still in her first clutch she's ever produced in her life, so it's not totally. Okay, so we got quite a few slugs, but the good news is we got plenty, plenty, plenty good eggs. To try to make this happen. So we were a little bit worried that she wasn't gonna lay any good eggs. For, for a little bit, but she came through fine for us. For her first clutch, we're not complaining. So look at that, guys. Not every time are they perfect, but two, four, six, eight, ten slugs. But the good part is, we got more than ten good eggs here. So, now I'm going to take these eggs and I'm taking them. I look like I'm carelessly pulling them apart, but really, honestly, I've done it a couple times. What you might want to do is write a phone number right on the top there so you know who to call, just in case. But if you write a number on top, in truth, you can make sure it's in the very top. That way when you move the egg, you can keep it on top. So like I, when I grab them, I usually grab them like that, and I kind of make it where my hand is level. And so then when I go transfer them down, it's still level. That's my little personal trick. but. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to write on them. They don't. Every, a lot of people write everything on them. I've seen people write on the father, the mother, the look like a book on them, and they all hatch. So <clears throat> I don't think it's much too much effect on it. So I'm gonna like see these two eggs there. You see how they're kind of standing up? I'm gonna leave them standing up because that's the way they are. These aren't chicken eggs. They aren't bird eggs. You don't rotate them. They don't need to be rotated, and they will die if they rotate them because the little embryo is already affixed to its position and the longer they've been sitting there, if, you know, I'm sure that if they, right after they come out it doesn't matter the position but this clutch has been sitting here as you can see it's nice and dry we, we like to wait until they're for sure done <coughs> and uh, by the way guys we're having a big event coming up here real soon you guys have to try to come we got uh, jewels coming from Snakes on a Plane, and also he does uh, works with our lizard, Mr. Kipling on Disney. We got, uh, it looks like tons going to come, sign autographs, take photos. 
We're going to have uh, Joel from Forever Wild. Oh, oh, number 11 slug. That's the most slugs we've had in the last three clutches, but that's okay. We still got a good clutch to prove her out or not. That's what we're really looking to do here. Uh, and he's bringing a a uh, leopard, a black leopard, and we're also going to have baby bobcats and uh, a black uh, Pakistan cobra. We're working on a uh, bear. And it's going to be a blast. We're going to film a YouTube video there here. Got a really good, really, really famous guy that's really good at doing stuff for YouTube. Going to help us out. He actually does a lot of stuff in Hollywood. And you can even come see the first Super Dwarf. He's 20. How old are you again? 21. 21 on Facebook? Yeah. He's 21 on Facebook. But I don't know. I think, I think I'm being lied to. But, you know, I don't know. I guess it's possible. 21 is definitely a super dwarf. Yeah, he's pure super dwarf. He's no cross. So what do we got here? We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 eggs despite 11 bad ones. So that's absolutely happy. Uh, I would like to see less slugs, but what do I care if I ended up with 22 good ones? And I'm just happy that we're going to be able to prove her out. Uh, no matter what, I guarantee I'm going to keep some of these just on the hope even if they don't come out just because we were working with two different lines uh, we had but the cool part was is we had a male and a female so we'll see how it goes we have net, we actually have three lines of them so I don't know we got one that came from a uh, titanium project we got one that came from uh, the genetic stripe project and the other one came from just a pure albino project so when you guys put these in your incubator easy at the box we put them at 89 degrees uh, we start out our perlite a little bit dry and uh, we'll add a little water in a few days make sure that nothing these are nice and sealed and closed uh, we like to run the humidity at about as high as we can get it just about a rain chamber short of water all over the eggs and uh, we should we should know what we have in about 84 days and if you guys subscribe you should know what we have too so take care make sure you subscribe